So what's up, I'm finally back to today. Got a really quick talking about video I want to do. I remember doing this video because the first one kind of felt long. I just want to get this one um, up and everything. So, um, yeah, though, um, we did get a new Bulma event right here, of course. It is live in the game and everything like that for Bulma Gold, AJP. She's the April Fool Day card, of course. Um, but, you know, these are all four missions for her. And, of course, um, we do have the info for her, her first path. She, we do have different paths. It's like the um, other youth Bulma that we can, she can, you can actually have a percent for free, which is cool. Like, um, a big girl can be deep. I still need to do that. But, you know, my phone <laughs> doesn't want to work right either. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Um, but yeah, though, um, yeah, her, her left path that supports is small, her medium path is, um, middle, medium path, of course, right as large. And if you get a like, question mark pad, you can go on, um, you get a whole bunch of new more potential orbs. So yeah, there's all the uh, um, overall, uh, what you get and stuff like that, of course. And of course, we do have. Uh, <laughs> oh no, I said over. I said over, of course, a lot. But um, yeah, though, we did get um some stuff for her. Of like, or like those are all for our orbs, or um, you know, small, medium, large. I mean, it's always like that, like five thousand, or six thousand, or three thousand, or you know, four thousand, five thousand. I don't know. I'm just saying though, for large is always like small, or like three hundred or something like that. But yeah, those are two different guys. You can go on her, or go on for her. Of course, it's you, but much she's gonna be really good with Dragon Ball Seeker, though, because you know that's her really skill. So good for another good free play team, of course. And of course, she does do supreme damage. Of course, she does um. And that was 41% for four turns, so that's so good. And yeah, she is going to be really just good for dodging, and of course, she is going to be good um, when you're um, having a good piece on the team. So yeah, great for you. You got a good buff. Dragon Ball Seeker's got a good buff. And of course, um, like all those teams got a good buff. I'm kind of glad. They really did get some good buffs. I like that. But of course, right here we have Ender 13. He's he's live in the game, of course. So yeah, full so for him, he's you know kind of a bit like cooler where he has like support pass and stuff like that. He does do guaranteed um, hits, which basically he cannot be like he, he's gonna hit no matter what. He like your opponent cannot. I don't think your opponent can dodge or something like that. I think he disables that. But yeah, he's gonna transform. We have um two more Ender category odds on the team, which should be that hard because he does do target Goku or Ender's category, which kind of blend in with each other, like kind of like how um. Future and time travel kind of leaking with each other as well. Major 13 after he transforms. He's really good though. I mean, he never misses his target or anything like that. <laughs> he said that in the movie. Um, but yeah, though, he really is like, he really did a Joker Fest unit. Like, I, I, like, he's really good, but I don't recommend going for his banner. I just really don't because it's not like good high value. Well, I'm gonna say that. I'll go over that in a second. But, uh, but yeah, though, he's do, he's gonna do guaranteed hits against any Goku, um, just irregular Goku enemies besides you, Captain Ginyu, and Junior. But yeah, overall, he does do guaranteed hit, uh, crits against him, which is good. Unlike Cooler, though, because Cooler, he did guaranteed hits for pure high risk hands. Kind of weird, though, like, kind of change it up for this guy. I don't know, like, it's, like, it's just kind of like a downgrade for him, though. But overall, though, pretty, 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 pretty good. Um, like, overall, though, he really is a good unit, though. I, 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 I rather wait for you guys to get him when he come back on banners. But overall, though, he really is, like, a good Dutch unit, though. He starts out as a support tech and later on gets, um, you know, a hard thing unit. This turns right here as well. He is a side banner unit. He is live up as well. Um, yeah, I guess he's, like, you know, the new, like, new leader for, like, this, I guess, next-gen new leaders? That's what I call that, of course. But yeah, again, though, he's going to lose his defense, though, but overall, he's going to be sacrificed his health as well. But he did kind of leave himself wide open when he did that attack in the movie. Like, where he goes Super Saiyan, he just, you know, slashes through and what, 14? 15? No, it was his own 14. 15. <laughs> I don't know anymore, I forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he is going to um, be doing guarantee um, crit and stuff like that, of course. So yeah, I say go for it, no for him. He does reduce damage. Um, so that's good, though. Overall, he really is a good unit, though. He is going to be on every better moving forward. He does have a formidable super attack from the super strike strength. Okay. I know, okay, so, yeah, it's gonna be really simple and easy at far, because maybe, like, Future Trunks like this, or Future Trunks team, you know, it's fine, doubt. This is good, um, this is Android 14 and 15, I didn't really go over them that much, but they are really good. We have, we have an Android 13, um, on the field, like, any Android 13, the free-to-play one, the new one that just got his token awakening on the, from the event right here. Um, you can't see Super Attack for the rest of the fight, you can see Super Attack for the rest of the fight, like, you're gonna be seeing that no matter what. Like, from, from now on to, like, from the beginning to, like, the end, or, and they're only their own rotation, though. Uh, for the first time, that, that you can see super attacks, you can see super attacks for the rest of the fight. That's cool. That's great. That's awesome. I know I'm just talking about it, but they really are good. And then after that, they give all LS hack defense for thirty percent. We only we have Android huge Android thirteen on the um and, yeah, he does damage by thirty percent and gets allies. It's all allies hack defense for thirty percent. We have the future Android thirteen on the field. So yeah, like you have like huge Android thirteen, and you have like it'd be kind of weird. Like you have like a transforming one, you have like a regular one, the other you have like them on the team. That's gonna be a disgusting like turn or combo. But I feel like they should be more artificial life forms later. But they are yet to again over the Turkey Goku. And of course we have you have this new thirteen twelve. He really is good though. Like this new thirteen. Oh, he really is attacking defense definitely. So you can probably run on the Turkey Goku event if you try to do androids. But yeah though, he does um reduce damage by forty percent. A he um we keep more. 
and he does um extra a little bit more extra damage. Now he gives a more a little bit more extra attack and defense by fighting a Goku, Vegeta, or Team Trunked enemy, which is good. I probably Goku Fetch one should have been like that though. Of course, Vegeta would playing pure hybrid hands and do more damage. I mean, otherwise he would be like AJ cooler, AJ cooler. But um, yeah, we have 14, 15 attacking at the same time. He gets attack defense plus 50, 40, 70 yeah. percent. But yeah, that's still good though for him. He really is a good free play unit. Just me talking about him isn't enough. This is a target Goku category, of course. Space everybody who wanted to target and kill Goku. But yeah, androids, Broly, you know, cooler, all of them can hear. Mainly just androids and like you know, yeah, it's just like another androids category ish. So, um, in that opinion, though, that's how it is kind of structured for um. You know, target Goku category. But yeah, we do we did get a new Android 13 um Delta Fest event as well. Um it is gonna take a lot of, a lot of mills though. And of course Goku Trunks and um Super Saiyan Goku Trunks and um or just Goku Trunks and um Vegeta doing more damage against them. Only for like the point of the movie though, of course. I guess they bought their girl from the movie. It kinda makes sense that Vegeta's art is him charging. But yeah, here's all overall mills from the if you need a good um um presentation of it. Of course we do have a new story event as well for the Android 13 um story event as well. Um, Android 13, um, <laughs> campaign, stuff like that. So, yeah, Super Saiyan do, um, get, do give you extra drops and stuff like that. But, yeah, the new overall mail symbol and everything like that. That's cool and everything like that, of course. Um, yeah, Zorvik, pretty short, though. But, Argy gets for among Zorvik, Goku, in a few more weeks, of course. Um, of course, his Android 13's banner, I do not recommend summoning on because, they, you know, they didn't change it for gold or anything like that. So, it has to be really back as often, so I kind of get that. Um, you've been on a lot of banners, you've been on a lot of banners, you and you. I mean, Piccolo just came back, though, so I don't really do that. I mean, but these guys, they all been on banners 500 times. It could be available from now on, so that's gonna be good. And you're still good. He, like, he really is good, though, but yeah. Um, of course, we do have a um, ticket version where basically you can summon on it. But, like, people have trouble, you can get, like, um, I think 25 units. Um, and some of them aren't, like, I think some of them are feature, I think. Like, no, you get one feature, I think, at the end. So, I mean, overall, you could probably pull, like, what, 500 Android 13s. Of course, we have the new category banner up here. I do not recommend something like that. Even though all these good LRs are in here, I always say save the double rates banner. That'll okay, be up in a few more weeks. But, um, yeah, though, high value banners, I mean, like, for example, Android 13, I don't think his is really good high value. What I mean is, like, all these games, like, for example, the Gogeta and Vegeta banners. I still recommend people saying for, we're only, like, what, at times of three months away? Um, but yeah, though, like, overall, what I mean for high value banners, I'm talking about like these type of banners, like for example, Gogeta's. Gogeta's is really good because sales is still good. You're still good. You're still good. You're still good. You age well, you're good. Um, you're amazing at your EZA. You're gonna be good at your EZA, and you're good. Um, and then, for example, like Gogeta, his go his banner is a lot. <laughs> I would say his banner is a lot better though, because he's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. These two guys on the same banner are ridiculous. You're good. I mean, these three guys on the banner are crazy. You're so good. Um, anyway, my, <laughs> but I'm just saying, though, in my opinion, though, but yeah, this is what I mean for high value banners, like, getting more bang for your buck, like, oh, these units are really good, I mean, they even go in the Android 13 banner, it's like, oh, I mean, there's a good high value here, but it's like, not as a, like, as a, I mean, like, a dual Goku test, even the Super Saiyan 3, Angel Goku and Vegeta are, you know, still, you know, but yeah, that's all I really want to go those today. Again, though, hopefully um, I got everything out the way, though. But yeah, we got a new um, story event, of course. And of course, we have, I mean, new token event and a story, of, story event, of course. But um, yeah, though, um, I do mean to go here. But yeah, that's um, so all I really want to go those today. Again, though, Android 13 is live in the game. Hopefully, you guys don't swim around. Please don't do it. I really don't recommend doing it. But yeah, I really want to go those today. But yeah, see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. All good junk. See you guys later, though. Peace out.